You can feel it the moment you arrive on campus. A sense of history envelops you at Tuskegee University. It's a private, historically black institution with a student population of more than 2,000 in the small rural town of Tuskegee, Alabama. Founded in 1881 as the first institution of higher learning for African Americans, its history started with the help of an African American legend. The renowned Booker T. Washington, an educator, author, and the founder and first president of the school. And a statue constructed in Washington's honor at Tuskegee University portrays him uncovering hope for a frightened slave. The monument is inscribed with these words. He lifted the veil of ignorance from his people and pointed the way to progress through education and industry. And a lot of scientists are worried about global warming. Why? Why is that a concern? And today, that progress in education and industry continues, extending to a critical and flourishing field of study at Tuskegee University, a degree in green careers in the College of Agriculture, Environment, and Nutrition Sciences. In fact, our enrollment in our college increased by like 55% this year from last year. And so our student population in the College of Ag, where these green careers are, actually represents about 25% of our entire campus here at Tuskegee University. And increasingly, we see that our young people are really passionate about the environment and sustainability and how the things we do today will impact our future world. Tuskegee University Dean Dr. Olga Bolden Tiller helps prepare students for careers that can protect our environment, our planet, and our future. They are taking to the fields of the university's acres of farmland to learn about sustainable agriculture methods. So once it picks up the specific tool, it's going to move to the specific location. They are using high-tech and robotic precision farming methods to better capture plant information, improve soil health, and identify resilient plants that can adapt to climate change. And they are learning about a sustainable livestock production system that can minimize their impact on the environment. The growth of green jobs nationwide is fueled in part by the need to combat climate change as scientists sound the alarm about the mounting threat climate change presents due to global warming. A recent report from the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change warned that the world is likely to pass a dangerous temperature threshold sooner than predicted within the next decade. The panel stated there is a rapidly closing window of opportunity to secure a livable and sustainable future for all. If not, the panel predicts weather-centered events such as storms, heat waves, droughts, famines, along with infectious diseases, could potentially take millions more lives worldwide by the end of this century. Every year you notice like how each summer is getting hotter and how the weather is getting crazier and crazier and crazier. Dire climate change predictions are a catalyst for Tuskegee students like Anali Blue to choose a green career. We talk about the symmetric distribution. And She's a junior studying environmental, natural resources, and plant sciences. It's scary because you hear words in articles like, the end is near, or in the next 50 years you might see this or your grandchildren might not be able to see this species or the bees are dying and so it's very hard to witness and to live. Even harder because Anali has a love for all creatures big and small, animals and insects. I've always had an interest in animals and the environment itself like first thing I would do when I woke up getting ready for school was turn the TV on and most likely it was Animal Planet and Anali Blue dares to dream that someday she could teach others to protect animals and preserve our planet on her own TV show, reaching more racially diverse audiences, too. I could see myself having my own channel on uh, National Geographic, like hosting my own show, like Anali's Big Blue World or uh, Blue's Bugs or anything like that, just because 
I personally don't see anybody who looks like me being that person, and I can see myself doing that. Hanale pursued a path to Tuskegee because of its robust green careers for African-American students and all students. The university reports it has educated 70% of our nation's black veterinarians. In natural resources, we rank in the top 10 in any given year, and some years higher than that, even in the top five, with the number of students who graduate with degrees in natural resources that are minority students and African-Americans specifically. With some of Anali's studies in natural resources, sunlight, air, and water are natural magnets for her. She has an unbridled passion for nature and soaking up its beauty. And Anali has a sweet spot for a lake near campus where she pulls on her boots and prepares to wade in the water. On this day, she will be capturing and releasing minnows or keeping them as pets. But Anali's heart hurts because of the way people sometimes mistreat animals and our environment. We're already at a point in time where we're scrambling and we're already trying to save what is dying because humans have done a lot of damage that caused many species of animals to go extinct or nearly extinct. So it's very sad to me that, okay, after something has been almost killed off, that's when you finally see its importance, but it's here for a reason, so it should already be handled with that importance. We probably need to call a meeting with the two of them. And Dr. Bolden Tiller has concerns about studies that show climate change and environmental hazards such as air pollution disproportionately impact the health of African Americans and their children. For years, you have seen minorities talk about in their communities, they have issues with environmental justice, um, with dumping, not having proper sanitation, not getting the same resources that other areas get. And the reality is, it's a reality. Dr. Bolton Tiller says many black students who witness the injustices have culturally relevant reasons to help right some of the wrongs by pursuing green careers. Not only through policy, but as a scientist, how do I go into a space where there may be some environmental runoff or dumping, and how can I utilize my scientific knowledge to help mitigate these things? Those students include Tuskegee graduates in green careers like Zipporah Sowell, who are entering the workforce. Zipporah graduated in the spring of 2023, and she's a young woman on the move and on a mission in Peoria, Illinois. You need people who are passionate about this career, about this field, because that's where you're gonna get real results. Zipporah moved here after completing a Bachelor of Science degree in plant and soil science at Tuskegee University. We have to be able to sustain this planet for the future generations that are coming after us. My kids that are coming, I hope, you know, when I do have kids that they're growing up in a planet that is green and that is healthy. And so um, I'm a part of that work. Zipporah works for the United States Department of Agriculture in Peoria, and she's currently involved in research on pathogens that cause disease in crops. Her focus is on sustainable agriculture, which includes protecting our crops and soil, some reportedly damaged by pathogens, pests, and chemicals, and some by climate change. It has a domino effect. So if we do not have healthy soil, we don't have healthy plants, we will not have healthy people leading to an unhealthy planet. Sustainable agriculture is looking at, okay, how can we practice agriculture in a way that is favorable for us, right? But it's also favorable for our environment because once the environment and the natural resources are depleted, we're in trouble. What are we going to do? Zipporah's career track fulfills and energizes her. But she admits, as a first-generation college student, some of her friends and family didn't understand her interest in an agriculture major. Due to a lack of awareness, people were like, what are you going to do with that? And how are you going to make money with that? And why would you want to do that? Only 3% of African-American college students study agriculture, according to a Georgetown University study. But Zipporah found inspiration for her career at Tuskegee University in George Washington Carver. The legendary agriculture scientist, inventor, and teacher, born a slave, 
taught at Tuskegee in its early days. It was inspiring to be in the presence of his energy and, you know, knowing that he did so much work there, but also he gave back to his community. The innovations that he developed helped farmers in the South economically. And like Carver, as Zipporah reflects on her future, she says she too will be serving farmers. I think long term, I really do see myself like traveling around the world and like meeting farmers and seeing what's the problem and how can I help? As an agriculture major, Zipporah has also discovered a deep love for nature and our earth. Quite honestly, nature is my peace. It's where I go to kind of get things together in my mind. We're all connected to the earth in some type of way, you know, humans, animals, plants, microorganisms. Being in my major, it taught me to have an appreciation for the planet that we live on. We forget most of the time that this planet sustains us. Her words reveal the deep conviction she has to teach others not to take our earth for granted, but to help sustain it. Just be more inclusive of the environment. We are not on top of this chain. We are within it. For Zipporah, this career journey today feels like destiny. Even despite people who have discouraged me, you know, from studying agriculture, I still pushed through because I knew what my heart was calling for. And when you have that itch on your heart, it's a part of your purpose, it's a part of your mission. And I know I'm right where I need to be. With graduates like Zipporah riding a wave into the future of green careers and offering diverse perspectives that can critically impact communities, Dr. Bowden Tiller feels invigorated. We talk about here at Tuskegee, we don't just make leaders, we make bosses. And she says they are going out and they are changing the world.